How about the set that Albany runs as well? You were watching some film earlier this week. You're impressed with what they have on the offense. Yeah, well, you'll today. see them go for right here from the goal line extended about four or five yards up, and they'll bring Fields into that two-man game typically to try to change the matchup. John Maloney with a pass and a behind-the-back shot by Seth Oaks. Their first you know, real crack at it here. They've only had one possession before and only taken one shot. Maryland has already put up ten. So when you see Maltz behind, when you see Rotans behind, those are all converted attackmen or players that are very comfortable behind the cage. That is an absolute ga game-specific strategy by Maryland. Well, of course, the Thompsons are all gone for Albany, but Connor Fields, who just passed it up right now, he's also very excited, and the goal is scored as he feeds it over to Seth Oaks. Opener, the evolution of him, not only as a scorer, but as a feeder, and Seth Oaks, when you give him those shots inside, he's not going to miss them. Now a senior out of Akron, Ohio. Part of the stellar defense for Maryland, as it's been for so many years. There's Adam Osika. Two-man game coming from Fields. Clancy for Fields. They'll go right back to it here. Connor Fields. Trying to get the pick there, not happening now for Oaks. Yeah, that, that was a great show by number 20, Manis. Shots of the rear to make him up some huge saves. And ultimately is keeping Albany this game. Let's see if Albany's able to get things back to a little bit more of what they want. Fields has got a short stick matchup here. Here's Seth Oaks. He got the first goal for Albany here tonight. Works it around, tough angle on that shot. Like it, of course, with Lyle Thompson, the all-time leading scorer, Division One College across 400 points. In that last year in the quarterfinals, as this shot is off the mark by Kevin McNally. You and I were there. Collins offensively loves to play an up-and-down style of play, and you know, players love playing that kind of style. So then you get from a recruiting standpoint, you start to attract you know, slicker sticks on, on offense from an athletic standpoint. Success begets success. How about that six-year stretch when he was at Maryland? They averaged about eight goals a game, got it up to about 13. And the highest scoring teams in school history that one year, and they went to. And after that, here at Albany, their only coach as they moved up to Division I, 2001 until now in a 16th season. They trail it by two here. About six minutes gone by in the second. Kyle McClancy, ball on his stick. Oaks couldn't contain it. And a turnover taken away. Maryland's Greg Danseglio. Can it get a few more shots going here just to kind of get some shots and say, like, hey, we're going we're gonna to test you here today. Get some guys backing it up. There's only been five shots all game so far by Albany. You see that sometimes in the first three minutes. Yeah, the tough thing is you don't want to get Bernalore going. So you want to take quality shots because if he starts seeing the ball, then, then even good ones he's going to gobble up. Okay, good point. Here's Oaks. And he got a piece of it. It hit the pipe. Is it in? They say a goal. Count it for Oaks game that Albany would prefer, but there's no need to panic here. You know, we're only down three goals, now two, and we haven't played that well, especially offensively, which is kind of our bread and butter. Just stay the course. Your big players are going to step up. Go to Fields. That'll be number one. You'll see a, a pick coming right here. He elects to slip it. They want to get the ball in their playmaker's hands. They need a goal before the half. This is a critical possession. Here's Oaks. It's crushed by a triple team. Lost the ball, taken away. Maryland gets the two. Because if you make a mistake there, then you don't see the ball for a little bit. This is what's challenging about being on the other side of the field. It's going to be one of those grind you out type of ball games. I think both teams knew that coming in. Here is Oaks. He does have two goals here tonight. Bennett Drake has the other one for Albany. Now Justin Ray. Here's Fields. 
Tough matchup here for Maryland. Connor Fields unleashes wide of the cage to the left, and Oaks is back there. Or if anything, with the way their offense is run and what they can do to you, there might be a few more people you have to be concerned with you know, than just watching Lyle the whole time. Yeah, but I'd rather have just Lyle. I'm sure you would, but yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Bye here in the third. Oh, but he's had a few more shots in this quarter, and then what they've had in that first half really held in check. Here's Fields. Strong defense there. You can see. They've missed their last five shots. Nice spin move here, and in front, the save by Burlon. Adam Osika shot. Oh, you take a look and see who they've got out there. It's Kyle McClancy now, ball in the stick of Connor Fields. And they've got Muller on field, so you saw Dan Seglio, you've seen Muller, you've seen Dunn. So to the point of like Albany struggling, you know, Maryland's involved here too. Osika shot off a of burn law. The more involved he gets and the better he becomes. Shot at Burmore again, got a piece of that one at the defense. Exactly. And the momentum has been on the side of the Great Danes here so far in the third. Certainly much more time here on the offensive end. Maloney again. And on the shot this time from Jack Burkmaster. And deterred by a little slump. They've just been through too much. Bennett Drake. Take that pass to Fields and behind the net it goes. Fields behind the cage with the two assists. Oaks with three goals and a hat trick for the Great Danes, number 21. So right there's a Maryland's on-ball two-man game defense. And then why others haven't been able to get involved. Exactly. Now here's Oaks. And that pass deflected in front. And there it is. 